Lather up. It's Shower Anthem's night. And the Group C Finals. Give it up for Clock, Lizard, and Poodle Ball. Incredible. Yes. Head on back and gear up Come on. for the fight ahead. Totally amazing. Yeah. We are in for a good night. Welcome to the Mass Singer. Yes. Tonight, three mystery celebrities are giving us suds and solos with songs that they belt out in the shower. That's right. It's shower anthems night. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Woo! I guess it's not uh, bring your shirt to work day. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That reminds me. I need to call my sit-up coach. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys ready to get this going? Let's yeah. go. Tonight, our characters will sing. The audience and panel will vote. And the singer with the least amount of votes is finally revealing their famous face. Yeah. The two remaining singers will face off in a battle royale. And from there, our group C champion will be named. Now, in case you didn't catch that math, we are in for a double elimination tonight. Wow. Oh, that's great. Oh, I forgot. But there's a life preserver floating around for one of our celebrities. You know what it is. Bring it out. The ding dong. What? Keep it on, oh Bill. It it's real. Okay, panel, you can save an eliminated singer from unmasking tonight. Just call on the bell and ring it loud for all to hear. But remember, you can only use it once in these group final rounds. Oh, Rita's got know. the ringer. I don't know who trusted me with this, because I'm too excited to be able to ring this bell. Wow, that's right. Audience, you guys ready? Yeah. First up, it's clock. Before she graces the stage, Let's find out what song Clock sings in the shower and why it's her shower anthem. TVB night was such a good time. Ain't we lucky we don't have a... Oh, yes, queen. That was a timeless vocal. Wow. I'm honored to be in the group C finale because in my line of work, we love a curtain call. In this case, a shower curtain call. <laughs> so, what do you usually sing in the shower? There's something about the shower that gives me the courage to belt out the biggest diva hits of all time. And let me tell you, I've been amongst them. Sweetheart, candy. Mm -hmm. You see, I was nominated for one of the most prestigious awards against some legendary ladies, Queen Aretha and Natalie Cole. I didn't think I'd win, so I stayed home and spent the evening literally scrubbing the kitchen floor. And then I won! I actually won! No way! Wow! And I gave my acceptance speech to the mob instead of millions can you imagine? So, take it from Aretha. When it's your time to shine, you better show up and respect yourself. What a story. And then gave her acceptance speech to a mom? Yes. I want to find out who this is more than ever now.
Wow. Looks like Clock finally got her award. Definitely giving the clock all of her respect. Put some respect on my clock. Put some respect on it. That performance was so funky. That ain't had a shower in months, that performance. <laughs> this is the Group C Finals, and this is your best performance thus far. Whoa. You have peaked at the right wow. time. So amazing. Brought well, the house down. Brought the house down. Let's unwind and gather a clue about the clock. And more importantly, who is she connected to up here on the panel? Men in Black, bring out the bad. Robert Aki, you're so kind. Oh. And I'm lucky that you know. Ken, how come you never run me a bath anymore? Because you shower more often now. <laughs> Men in Black, what do you have for us? Oh, Robert Ducky. Oh, it's a Nick a Ducky. Nick a Ducky. Yeah. You have my name on a duck. Does it have a shirt inside it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Clock, what can you tell us about this Nick clue? Well, Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas? <laughs> Nicholas. Nicholas. This isn't the first time you've hosted me. Ooh, Whoa. Nick. Well, I, I mean, clearly we know each other. Know each other, yes. I mean... He knows everybody, though. You do know knows, everybody, but though. But does not narrow it down yeah. at all. Well, let's give it up a Men in Black <laughs> in yeah. this silly, ridiculous... Great job, Men in Black. ...get up of a tub. <laughs> all right. Who do you guys think this could possibly uh. be? You know, I was thinking, like, who would have he hosted on his talk show? Like a Tina Knowles, a Sheila E. But the clues keep bringing me back to Debbie Allen. Mm. Yes. Very close with Debbie Allen. Debbie Allen is like family. There was a candy with a sweet on it. She was in Sweet Charity on Broadway. Yes. And she pulled out some moves tonight. Clock was moving it I tonight. Know, clock had, the clock yes. was twerking, I the think. The hands were moving. <laughs> <laughs> clock twerk. <laughs> what are you thinking, Rita? You know... Everything in my body and in my bones is giving me disco, diva, legend, mm. icon. The Sweet Candy Heart Clue makes me think of the song Sweet Surrender. For me, I was thinking, could this potentially be Denise Williams? Oh, that's a great guess. That is a good I guess. I love that guess. Yeah, it's one of the best pure voices. My We're so lucky. Her guess. No, absolutely. Oh, God, Ken, get ready. Hey, yeah. Ken, who do you think it is? Well... Last time, I ultimately decided on Janet Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Guys, whoa, 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 whoa. guys. So, so you still think it's Janet? I, you know what? I was talking to my therapist, <laughs> and she told me not to make emotional decisions out of spite. Right. <laughs> so, I am confidently going back to Diana Ross, and alarm clock working overtime. This is something I can relate to. I work so, so hard. hard on this show. Yeah. He does. Once he does. a week, I put in almost three grueling hours, and it's so <laughs> tough. I relate to you, Diana. Diana Ross. Thank, thank you, Ken. You. Thank, thank you, Ken. Ken. Thank, thank you, guys. You, thank you, Ken. Thank you. We'll hit the showers. I think we'll I need a shower. <laughs> One thing we do know, Clock, you are incredible. Such a electrified performance. Y'all yeah. keep it going Woo! for the queen of time. Head on backstage, Men in Black, help out the clock. Can you both believe we're already at that point where they're going to go to the quarterfinals from here? It happens so fast. I know. Who is that? Who is that? Welcome back. It's the Group C Finals. And our singers are making a splash on Shower Anthems Night. Now, let's check in with our scaly friend, Lizard. Maybe we can uh, rinse off some of the mystery surrounding him. Who are you? Oh! Hey! Hey! I can't believe I put my way out of a second smackdown. The Lizard! What songs do you sing into your shampoo bottles? I go full emo. I'm talking the anthem of troubled teens everywhere. 
Before I could even drive, I was living two lives. I got straight A's in school, but after school, I was running the streets with a bad crowd. Oh my, wait. That's, that's Dragon Buster Rhyme. I was messing up so much, I saw the inside of a jail cell more than once. <laughs> that last time, I took a long look in the mirror and realized that thug life just wasn't for me. Justin Timberlake. JT. And from that moment on, I stared in a different direction and cleaned up my act. But I never forgot those dark days and the wake-up call I desperately needed. Wow, those are some good clues, Rita. you guys. Rita's excited. She's very excited. If this is who I think it is, gonna it's going to be, be the best clothes I've ever been to in my whole life. Oh, for real. For real. Can you see into my eyes like open doors? Oh, no. Leading you down into my core where I become so numb without a soul. Wow. My spirit's sleeping somewhere cold. Till you find it there in me, it feels home. When we are inside, yeah. when we are inside, call my name and save me from the dark. In my blood to run, before I turn my mind, save me from nothing. The lizard to rock out tonight. I mean, my mind was blown. I did not <laughs> expect you to come out with that kind of song. But you still gave it your, your flow. It was amazing. It was still you. Lizard it was great. Goes. The lizard yeah. goes hard. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. And I love that Evanescence song. Yeah. And I love the fact that you made it your own. You elevated it and you put your own stamp on it. And that's why you are who you are. You're a legend. You're a lizard. And you're so <laughs> dope. Thank you. Such an outstanding performance, but you guys know what we need. We need a clue. Let's see which one of us the lizard is connected to. Release the next clue. Release. Whoa, oh, oh. Lufus. Watch out, Nick. They just made it rain in lupus. It sure did. <laughs> Scrub a dub dub. I think there's one of these, the clue lizard. I think, oh my gosh. I think I see Ooh. one. Hold up. See a gold loofah. Wow. Well, this loofah says Rita. <gasps> oh, Rita. Rita, I'm honored to say we both have won the same out of this world award. Whoa. Out really? Of this world. Wow. Out of this world takes me to 
Moon Man. Yeah. Ah, MTV. Oh. VMAs. Yeah. Yeah, VMAs. Yeah. 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 OK, let's get down to it. So one of the reasons I think why I came all this way was to honestly meet incredible talent. So if I think this is who I think it is, it's really kind of made my trip worthwhile. And I'm so grateful for this right now. Well, here's what, what got me, right? The dragon costume. I was born in the 90s, and so one of my favorite songs was Unleash the Dragon by this artist. Mm. And the stage clue of winning the same award, the VMAs, I'm sure you have won loads. All right? This is Cisco. Wow, really? You really think it's Cisco? Wow, definitely. And if this is Cisco, I love you. Even though I said that you don't need me. Wow! That's beautiful. Oh. I mean, you know who has moves like that and also want to be a maid? D'Angelo. Ooh, that would be good. Right? Too. And there was a thermometer below zero, and mm. he's got a song called Cold World. And we've all seen that music video, and he's got nothing on. Ooh. Oh, like Nick. Like Nick. Nick, <laughs> Nick wore his outfit tonight. That was my inspiration, hello. Lord D'Angelo. <laughs> you know what? We had great guesses here. D'Angelo, Cisco, Ken Jung, 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 Jung. I get it. <laughs> but here's the real. Michael Bivens. <laughs> oh, Wait, my God. What? Ken! The tallest Look member. Him. Stop it. Let me finish. Look what you did to the visit. Justin Timberlake, yeah, okay, new like edition mm -hmm. and in sync. Yeah. Both were appeared on a very boy band holiday, and I might be wrong, Rita. Did you or did you not? You and Michael also won the same hot dog eating contest in Budapest. Am I right on that? <laughs> yes. Sit your ass down, kid. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, as crazy as that guess was. This performance was even more insane. Yes, it was. It was incredible. Y'all keep it going for the lizard. Men in Black, help him out. This may be my favorite group. Christine. Because all three of them, I mean, they're in different lanes, and they're all, like, in peak form right true now. True that, true that. Welcome back to the Group C Finals here on The Mass Singer. Group C. Group C. We have our final solo singer of the night. Before she hits us with her tile tunes, let's see what's new with Poodle Ma. So, so has really let me spread my wings. We have fallen in love with you. You should feel so proud and confident from here on out. Thank you. What does singing in the shower do for you? Music has always been my therapy. And while some people sing pop hits in the shower for fun, I use it as a time of total emotional release. And I let the tears fall while I sing. Like when my family sold our childhood home. That house was filled with some pretty tumultuous memories. Number, Number three, three. Three seasons of a show or three albums? Okay. Growing up was tough. There was so much sadness within those walls. I dreamed of leaving it. Poodle mouth. Yet when it came time to clear out the kitchen, repaint the hallway, I couldn't help but feel like a part of me was gone. But that was the house that built me, for better or worse. Living there taught me resilience, and now I try to lock the doors on the negative memories and open windows to positivity. And thanks to a few good shower cries, I know I can push through to begin each day confident and free. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Her story moves Ooh. me so much. I'm so inspired. No, they say you can't go home again. Oh. I just had to come back one last time. Well, ma'am, I know you don't know me from Adam. But these handprints on the front steps are mine. I thought it 
Talk to the Poodle Mom. Poodle Mom, you have, I think, one of the biggest hearts on this whole show. Yeah. Aww. It was adorable and also so moving. I don't know, I guess for me, I'm just very excited to see you every time you come on this stage, so thank you. Aww. My heart, thank you. I think that we all go back to when we were kids, yes. you know what I mean? And that a lot of us deal with many different types of tragedies. And I think that this, this really brings us all back to that time when we felt like anything was possible and we had love and warmth in our home and in our hearts. And That's right. I think it was a beautiful feeling. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. All right, well, let's get a clue and see which one of us Poodle Moth is connected to. Yeah. This one's from the Sudsy Sanctuary. Oh, <laughs> that was special. I gotta go in the shower. Well, he's already half naked. <laughs> go take a shower with electronic equipment. <laughs> soap on a rope. Go find a rope. And this soap is for Mr. Clean himself. Oh, wow. Robin. No way. Oh. Thick. Robin. Oh. Robin. Says what does Robin. that mean? Well, I, I could use a bath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robin. Working with your dad. Oh. What? Oh, I'm gonna cry. It's part of one of the biggest moments of my career wow. and my life. Oh wow. my gosh. Yeah. Wow. That's Who beautiful. That? Thank you. And thank and let's let's all applause yes. for dad for pops. Yes. Alan Dick, we love you. We miss yes. you, Dad. We love you. A legend. I don't know if that helps me because he <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear what you guys think. Yeah, let me just think for a second, because knowing that you knew my dad, that, let me get in that wheelhouse for a second. You know, for me, I thought country singer originally, and I was so convinced because of the storytelling quality that you have. Now, looking at the clues, I've started to think, maybe you're an actress. I mean, the connection to Robin's dad makes me think of an actress that starred in a movie, Alpha Dog, with him. <gasps> guys, is this Sharon Stone? Wow, wow. And you know, Sharon Stone actually it was very good friends with my dad. She came to my dad's wedding. Wait, also. There you go. So, yeah. She was the honorary best woman. Wow. <laughs> really? Yeah, I like that. Ken, what you got, man? Yeah, I. I Brooke Shields, I believe they were on Scream Queens. Scream Queens, yeah. Together. Yeah. There was a palm tree in the clues, so you're thinking like Blue Lagoon. Yeah. Well, my dad used to brag, you know, I went on a date with Brooke Shields. Yeah, <laughs> Is that helping you? No, I actually, now that I'm, I'm, I'm starting, because the Grand Old Opry and the country stuff, I think this uh, singer is one of the most famous, accomplished uh, singers in, in America. And a lot of people don't know this, that when she was trying to get a record deal in Los Angeles, she actually came and stayed at my dad's house for two weeks because she was Canadian. 
She went and got a record deal and went on to become Shania Twain. No way! Wow. wow. That would be incredible. And if I'm right, that's why she has that emotional feeling because my dad really gave her a place to stay for yes. two weeks while she tried to get a record deal. I think that's Shania Twain. That's amazing. Well, no matter who you are, even though Robin might be right, you won our heart. This is exactly. This is what you've done for us. Hudema, beautiful performance. Thank you. Thank you. Men in Black, help Hudema out. She's trying to fly up out of here. Studio audience, panel, you know what time it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you ready oh! to vote? Vote for your favorite singer of the night. The singer with the least amount of votes will be unmasked once and for all. The other two will have one final opportunity to impress our panel and move on to the quarterfinals. The panel can use their save and ring the ding dong, keep it on, Bell. But there's no guarantee that it will be used tonight. Get ready for the first unmasking of the night. You don't want to miss it. You guys, do you think it's too early in the season to use the bell? I don't know. It's a big, big, big decision. Lots of pressure. Big decisions to make. Who is that? Three amazing singers have taken the stage tonight. Two will head to the all or nothing battle royale. The other must unmask right now. Wow, this is gonna be tough. The first singer unmasking tonight is... Oh gosh. Those were three very special performances. Right? Lizard. Oh! Clock and put them on. Congratulations. Oh, You're safe for now. Head on back and prepare for the battle royale. Lizard! Oh my god! Lizard! 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 The crowd clearly loves the lizard. Lizard, we hate to see you go, but we can't wait to see who you are. Yes! Panel, yes. we need your final guesses. Ooh. First of all, Lizard, you'll be missed because we really That's enjoyed right. you. So I was torn between like Ray J and D'Angelo, but I think I'm gonna lean in more towards Ray J. What really made me think this has to be Ray J is because there was a Snoop, well, it was a dog clue, and I'm taking right. it as a Snoop Dogg clue, and guess who's cousins with Snoop Dogg? Ray, Ray J. J. Oh. Come on. That's a great guess. No, Ray J's thank you, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ray thank J you, is a you. good guess, but an even better guess for me, the Crab Cupcake clue was for his new edition bandmate, Bobby Brown. Thermometer for Cool It Now, Lizard, is Michael Bivens. It's not. That guess was poison. Whoa, hey, hey, cool it now. Uh, All right. Again. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, Rita and I have been on the same page. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, you're so passionate about it. You take it. Okay, so, you know, the Thermometer Zero clue for Drew Hill song, Below Zero. He won a VMA for the Thong song. I mean, come on, together, Robin. This is Cisco. Cisco. Yes. Yeah. Panel, let's see if any of you are correct. Audience, say it with me. Take it off! 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 Cisco! Rita! 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 You can't fool nobody. We knew that was you. Yes! Rita! Yes! I think Rita Ora yes! is fangirling out. Yes, Cisco! 
Man, I mean, clearly you have rock stages all over the world. Why in the world did you do The Mad Singer? Well, uh, uh, you know, my family loves the show, and every time we saw a season, everybody would always say, hey, that's got to be Cisco." Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, when, you know, I got an opportunity to do it, I seized it, and it was, it's been really fun. Oh, we're so glad you came. Yeah, it is. And you know what? It was kind of cool because, like, you would come out here and have fun, and then when they would put you in the SmackDown, you know, no, I'm going to let Cisco yeah, right. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. You do the Cisco sidekick, yes. and then go into your own riff. Yeah, well, you know, the lizard had to embody the spirit of the dragon yeah. when the chips were down. Yeah. That's right. Yes. All right, well, is there anything that you want to say to the panel? Your family, friends, uh, loved ones watching out. Your home. biggest fan over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, hey, man, uh, why don't I just sing the thong song a little yeah! bit? Oh my God! No, yeah. Rita, would you like yes. that? Yes. yes! It's been a pleasure having you on the show. He's already said it, he got y'all hype. Give it up for the artist. You make Rita cry. Formerly known as the Lizard. The amazing Cisco! That dress so scandalous. And you know another thing you handle it. So you shaking your finger. Who is it? But it look in the house so devilish. Yeah! You like a dance on a hip hop spot. She proved to the roots like a naked dot. Not just serving. She's like the rock. She was living like me. I love God. That dumps like a drug. Trust. That's like one. What? Baby, we didn't fuck. What? Let me sing it again. We love you! All right, well, Clock and Poodle Moth are heading to the Battle Royale. The group champion is about to be named. We'll be back with more Mass Singer. Oh, it's made my whole night. Who is that? The time has come for the Battle Royale! Battle Royale already! Battle Royale. The battlefield is set. Clock and Poodle Moth are going mask to mask. This final performance will determine who will forge ahead to the quarterfinals and who will be unmasked. Let the battle commence! No matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. Just call my name, I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry. Sing it. Cause, baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, baby. Okay, okay. Pull them off. 
Kudelman. Kudelman bringing it. Wow. That was yeah. great. What a battle. Wow. All right, well, Hannah, what are your thoughts? You guys came out swinging. Yeah. It was tick, tick, boom from clock, and that tick, was tick, and that was on fire from moth. That moth was close to the flame. It was <laughs> the moth was the flame. That was really impressive. That's tough. That is tough. All right, well, panel, you know what time it is. It's that time. The pressure's on. Vote now for your favorite singer in that battle royale. Ah, that's really tough. The fates of our singers are in your hands. The results and another celebrity unmasking are up next. Don't move. Welcome back. The votes are in, and we can now reveal the results. Woo! The winner of the Battle Royale, securing a spot in the quarterfinals, ah. is... The clock! Oh! Congratulations! You are the Group C champion. Yeah! We're gonna have you head on back and enjoy the victory. Uh oh, go ahead on clock. Oh my god, we're gonna get down. <laughs> Let's give it up for the clock, y'all. And keep it going. For Poodle Mob. We love you, Poodle Mob. Yes. We love you. She looks sad under that costume. I know. I feel sad for her. Aww. Poodle Mob, we are so sorry that your journey ends here. Uh, but we are really excited to see that famous face. We are. Panel, it's time for your final guesses. Robin, what you got? It hit me earlier, the Grand Old Opry, the Cowboy Hat Clues, connection to my dad. I think that this is Shania Twain. That'd <laughs> be outstanding. All right. Let me tell you who I think this might be. Come on. Robin's dad was on This Is Us, one of my favorite shows. And she played the mom of three. The number three is the number of the siblings. Oh. So I'm going to go with Mandy Moore. All right. Oh, I love that. Mandy Moore. Oh, you got yeah. one boo. Oh. You got one boo. <laughs> don't, don't get on Jenny's bad side. That's a great guess, Jenny. All right, Ken, what about you, man? She's a star of stage, TV, and movies. The drama and comedy mass is because she's done both. This is Brooke Shields. Wow. That'd be pretty cool. I think the drama masks, the connection to Robin's dad. I think Poodle Moth is the iconic Sharon Stone. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be outstanding. All right. Those were some great guesses. Let's see if any of you are correct. Wow. Yeah. Poodle Moth, we need to know, who are you? The bell. You know the drill. Say it with me. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Has been rang. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's how you do the ding dong. Keep it on, Bell. You live to sing another day. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Poodle Mop, I mean, we couldn't watch you leave. We fell in love with we you. We fell in love. I saw that bell and I thought, let's save Poodle Moth! Robin, Jenny, Ken, Rita, thank you! Your story 
your journey. We yeah. can all relate to you and your yeah. beautiful voice. I can't wait to see what you do in the quarterfinals. Baby. All right. Yes, yes. quarterfinals. Well, congratulations. You are not unmasking yes. tonight. Same thing. Yeah. Clock and Poodle Moth are heading to the quarterfinals. And next week, Group A is back. And their journey for the Golden Mask Trophy continues with Transformers Night. Yeah! We won't have another unmasking tonight, but let's close it off. Hit it! That's how you do the ding-dong-keep-it-on belt. <laughs>